Hello YouTubers, this video is about Senyo UR 18500 FK. This is the third 18500 lithium ion cell I've tested. Its capacity is rated at 1700 mAh and supported maximum continuous discharge current is 3.24 amps. 18500 cells have the same 18 mm diameter as the popular 18650 cells, but they are 15 mm shorter and are mainly used in digital cameras battery packs. Before passing to the results of capacity tests, let's take a quick look at my testing equipment. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5 mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9 mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5 mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle, the battery was charged at its standard charging current, which is mentioned in its datasheet, and after that it was left for one hour minimum, as the standard requires. After this charging cycle, the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer, and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. The cell tested by me has the following marking on its shrink tube. Senyo LUR18500FK V44C. This battery has the following specifications according to its datasheet. Rated capacity. 1620 mAh at 20 degrees Celsius. Minimum capacity 1620 mAh at 25 degrees Celsius. Typical capacity 1700 mAh at 25 centigrade. Nominal voltage 3.7 volts. Ambient temperature during discharging from minus 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. Standard charge current 1.13 amps. Charge end voltage 4.2 volts. Charge cutoff current 42 milliamps. Maximum continuous discharge current 3.24 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.75 volts. Maximum weight 44.5 grams. Cycle life. After 500 cycles at 20 degrees Celsius using 1.13 amp charge with 42 milliamp cut and 1.62 amp discharge with 2.75 volt cut, the capacity should be around. 1100 million powers, which is around 68% of initial capacity. The measured weight of my cell was 42.91 grams. Its diameter was 18.1 mm and it was 49.3 mm long. The measured DC internal resistance in fully charged condition at 1620 milliamps was around 54 milliamps. Now let's pass to the results of capacity tests. At 0.2C or 0.32 amps, Senyo UR 18500 FK gave out 1680 mAh or 6378 mWh. At 2 amp discharge rate, the result was 1593 mAh or 5695 mWh. At its maximum 3.24 amps, it gave out 1540 mAh or 5272 mWh. The discharge cutoff voltage was 2.75 volts according to the datasheet. So, what can I say at the end of the day? Senyo UR 18500 FK's results don't seem brilliant to me. Two other 18500 cells which I've tested have better results, especially Panasonic NCR 18500A, rated at 2040 mAh and showing almost 2090 mAh in 0.2C test. If you are going to replace the cells of a camera battery pack, I'd recommend to choose the Panasonic cell, or even QB18500, which is much cheaper. That's all I was going to tell you about this cell. Like the video if you enjoyed it, 
subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified about future videos. Bye bye.